There's only one mantra that you all need to know. That's that one over there. See Todd, bye Todd. Welcome back to the West Coast Avengers. I'm your host, the 2024 Hobby Hero Award winner, Dave. Bringing to you a bonus episode from OAX. Now, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I went to OAX, hosted by Comic Art Fans, Original Art Expo in Orlando. Orlando! Florida. It was great. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough, but I left a portion of it out to make a bonus episode for y'all. But first, before we get to that, likey, subscribey, all that stuff, you know the thing. More so, new podcast, direct edition. You can subscribe to it on Spotify, Apple, Google, Amazon, and now it has its own YouTube channel. You can find the links for it down below, or you can just go direct edition podcast right into the search bar and subscribe and listen to me yammer on about Things that aren't always comics, but collecting and life in general, and just me. Me. If you like me, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. So this bonus episode is actually co-hosted by my friend Justin Spidey Hits. If you don't know his channel, he is focused on the art and the collecting of Marvel cards. And this bonus section of OAX was the exhibit, it, it was the Marvel Card Archive, where there was a original piece of art from every year from Marvel Masterpieces, plus some other great stuff. And so it's me and Justin kind of just showing you all the pieces and narrating. This was also in his OAX wrap-up video, and so you can watch his, his wrap-up video on his channel. Enjoy the art of Marvel Masterpieces, and uh, me and my buddy, Spidey Hits. Childhood on paint. Oh no, whose video is whose? <laughs> Inception. <Yeah. laughs> All right, so we're going to come around and we're going to we're going to do it together. Yeah, we're going to do it together. We're going to take a look at this uh, Marvel card archive. Archive here, and you know, trading card original art. So it's published art, trading cards for trading cards. This is DeSantos, and this is Death Bird. And it's, it's an incredible piece. It's, it's a museum quality piece. Most people wouldn't care that this is Marvel. Mm -hmm. it yes, is. correct. And we got Mr. Professor X here. AKA Wheels. Also known as a tier four for the 2022. And what's cool here is you have the original X-Men. So you got Angel, Marvel Girl, Cyclops, Iceman, and Beast in the shadows. It's a beautiful detail added in. It's like the past. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Then we have prelim to the original Thor, and as he is, it's massive. Yeah. Massive. Stop peeking at Psylocke. Focus. I saw you. I can't. I saw you over there. But look at the detail from that hammer. And Thor. Nope, sorry. Psylocke. <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> With no sleep. And uh, I, I learned something new today. These are called tombstones. When it's a painting, it has the details like oh, the legacy. I didn't know that. This is called a tombstone in the painting world. Hmm. So, All right. Uh, Different from a tombstone in the real world. In the real world, because I was like, uh, I can't say that. Mm -hmm. and he's like, no, it's totally appropriate. And this is Dave Palumbo Pun Punisher. And just seriously, I, I, I have to tell you, this is really impressive in person. I'm not going to lie. The lighting on it, the way that the face is shadowed, and most of Frank is obscured by flame. It's It's impressive. And the way it highlights the, uh, the skull, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll throw it up on here, but you know, Dave did a Palumba. <laughs> Guys, full disclosure, three-ish hours sleep. Palumbo uh, did Punisher and was allowed to publish it. Dan DeSantos did a Punisher and was not allowed to publish Right. It. And then they're... Oh, man, here we got Ebony Maul. You like Ebony Maul? Yeah, he was, I mean, that was a good character in, in the movie. I, I can't say I've read anything besides Hickman's Infinity with him in it, but yeah, no. I don't know how he was originally portrayed in the comics. He was great in the movies. he was wonderful in the movies. Yeah. He felt like a real villain, you know? Like, very villainous. And Electro, and, that's... Yeah. I that's the, one of the best depictions of Electro I've ever seen. Simone, I mean, he just does it. Yeah. Right? Speaking of Simone, yeah. little Iron Man. So good. He does futuristic so well. Mm-hmm. And he does it like 
you know, with sometimes like it feels random characters who are not futuristic. And then yeah. he does Iron Man, which you would feel would be futuristic, and he gives us a 1980 Jet Fighter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he does, and and the Empire State Building in the background, and uh, yeah. he does flight really well. He does like midair stuff really yes, well. He does. Wow, this is really impressive, John Boy. Yeah, John Boy. I want a John Boy piece. Yeah, I thought he was going to be here. But it's not for 2008, unfortunately. And here we have Alex Horley. This is Hulk, oh. and this is represented. And so uh, I should have said this already. This particular gallery is an example, a masterpiece for every, every year. year. Yeah. And so a lot of people don't realize about the 2007, 2008, is, is, it is original art. Mm -hmm. It was the first put on a uh, versus trading card. Ah, speaking of classic, I mean, you've got two of the, right, one next to the other, yeah. uh, a power couple Bam. of painters, <laughs> Boris and, and Julie Bell, Boris Vallejo. And I mean, Boris is, his fantasy art, is is heralded and and his comic book stuff is just as good. It's so good, and of course we get to the lovely lady, Miss Julie Bell, mm -hmm. and her art. Uh, yeah, and then I mean, look, I think we all know. If you don't know, these fantasy artists were also bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. So the human anatomy was their profession. And so when it came time to do superheroes, they imagined if their bodybuilders were the characters. Mm -hmm. Look Which it feels appropriate. They were able to, they, they, they pulled it off. And then Man Thing. Put the added detail of the flower on there. So this is Giss, Ian Giss, Eric. Uh, he's a friend, friend of the channel. And um, this is an incredible Man Thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. But what, I will say this, and I hope we have one of uh, another character. I don't know if one's here. But Man Thing is one of those characters I hear the artists really love to draw because there's not like this exact design you have to do every time you get you get to be free mm -hmm. with your imagination because you could literally do anything as long as it's green and grassy yeah it's like, just vegetation thing is the other one yeah thing is the other one oh talking. here's a classic Gilbert, 94 94 masterpieces greg and tim anytime you see the, the g plus t that's when you know it's both of them and um incredible and, and i always think this is the Shadowlands land right? yeah yeah in the mid 90s yeah, and shoulder pads and knee pads were true for superheroes with invulnerability. Yeah. And the Hildebrands are, I mean, most well-known in the outside of the card world, in the Marvel world, as uh, some of the best and finest uh, token artists. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a really big deal. I mean, for us Marvel card fans, we feel like, like this is probably the pinnacle of their career. No, uh -uh. <laughs> This was them probably, I don't know for sure, probably working on the passion project. Because they'd already hit some pinnacles. And they did Star Wars, right. Star Wars and Token are... are so when you say things. Star Wars, put it in context. Uh, Star Wars poster. For the movie. For the movie, yeah. yeah. For the... The movie. First movie. So yeah. when you see uh, Luke Skywalker reaching into the sky with his lightsaber, which is very swordish, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the Hildebrands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's some great it. artists have been involved in Star Wars, and the two of them and Ralph McQuarrie um, are probably the, the names that everybody recognizes the most. Yeah, I mean, these are the cards that we love. This is what so I grew much. up with. Right? I mean, it's just incredible. It's amazing what they can do with just paint. Spent some time with this from my brother. Speaking uh, of what? classic. Yeah, we're gonna, and I love how Sable Tooth's right here. Mm hmm. Just gnarly coming at you. Stay away, Saber Tooth. But hey, bub. Hey, bub. <laughs> the best there is, right? Yeah. It's not very nice. <laughs> and then uh, here's a friend of yours. Oh, that's my buddy. Is this? Uh, would you consider this what a ultimate Spidey hit? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a Spidey hit. A Spidey hit. <laughs> Some people might add a letter to Spidey hit. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, this is just, to be in the presence of this, just to think about, how, like, how many times I put this at the top of my stack as a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just mm -hmm. as, uh, insane. Fantastic image. This Perspective is on the, it is, is bananas. This is part of the Lakeview collection here, which is Steve Wallabrew, uh, an amazing collector of original art for cards. It was, it was, it was added before, it was, like, really cool. So it's starting to get more and more popular. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of your everyday collectors are into it now. Uh, but he's been in it for a long time, which is why he has this collection. 
And this is a beautiful Polaris by Dan Lawless. Everyone who watches the channel for some time knows that the Dan Lawless art of Spider-Man vs. Wolverine is my favorite card of the 90s. But the dude knows how to draw women's faces. Look at that. Yeah. That is just beautiful. Good job, Dan. Now I talk about a classic artist right there. Who is this? That is the man, Joe Jusco. <laughs> the, the, just one of the greatest painters and literally the reason why a lot of us, if not all of us, love Marvel cards. Uh, he, he was the first Marvel Masterpieces artist. Yeah. This is the first iteration of it, which is important because he nailed it. We fell in love with it and they said, let's keep doing it. And yeah. we're still doing it to this day. Uh, he, set, he set the standard. It's like He's like the George Washington uh, Masterpieces because uh, uh, yeah. he did one term. <laughs> all by himself <laughs> yep and and the thing is about it is just i'd never seen superheroes painted like that before well, at, at the age of uh i was i was 12. this realism we saw it in conan and, and mm -hmm. uh, sonia yeah red yeah. sonia yeah yeah and, and his so we saw it in heavy his metal process, magazine heavy metal magazines and then it, to transition into more like will kids be into this this feels a little adultish yeah we well, were nuts we were, we were into it yeah. um and then you know I think people heard about the difficulty that he had with it, right? Mm -hmm. And so you didn't see a single artist do one set again until Joe did it again in 2016. <laughs> That's right. And uh, kind of set the standard again. Uh, and we see then Simone. He is, the, he is, the, standard. He is yeah. the standard. He is the standard. You know, he, he taught us how to do it. What they say about George Washington? He taught us how to walk away. He <laughs> taught us how to do one whole series by yourself. <laughs> uh, so very cool. And here we have... Uh, this is uh, Cacao Cow. I think it's that. No, Cow Cacao. That's how you say it. Sorry. I, I can't read it. I have to remember it. But uh, he did a pencil here that eventually ended up in 2017 Fair Ultra Spider Man. Mm. And why is that important? Because a lot of that art is digital. Not all of it. It is original, but not all uh, where you, you know, you're right. having a piece of original art. But he drew his and then I think colored it digitally. Wow. This Joe DeVito painting from. What is this from? Uh, uh, this, Ultra yeah, Spider-Man. So this is Free Ultra Spider-Man, and this is on a canvas card, if I remember correctly. It's just, I think everyone remembers it. If you saw it, you never forgot it. Yeah. And and how did, how do we not see this design for Spidey until 1996? Like this. It's a good question. Yeah, very very cool. And then we go back to Joe Jusco. <laughs> Uh, talk about Spidey hits, Spidey hits. <laughs> we are, we are, everybody, everybody meet at Joe Jesco Spidey. <laughs> um, Another great perspective by him. I mean, kind of captures you know, New York City too. If you give, he, he was given a gift and he's used it. That's yeah. for sure. And uh, he did not slack on Spider Man, and that no. makes my day right. <laughs> and um, he gets the anatomy right, like. Yeah. He is. I mean, Joe, Joe's another person that's into into fitness and into bodybuilding. Fitness, you study the anatomy and yeah. learn how like, it's incredible. Uh, but an amazing piece. I have the gold webs of this in a uh, uh, CGC ten mm. and the original blue label, which is now a thing, I guess. But it doesn't capture how beautiful this is. No, it doesn't. Like this does, and I've got to go okay. spend some time with it, guys. I'm sorry. Then we go from. Real anatomy to comic book anatomy and Peter Scanlon's uh, Spider Man from '95. Uh, it, this is a very cartoonish comic piece, but we're not uh, mad about it. Look at what are the, those? Don't exist on the human body. Only if you have been <laughs> bitten by a radioactive spider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then, you know, none of these guys are No, no. I love it though because it's like the antithesis of this. Yeah, it's it really is. It is. It, it's not a caricature, so it's not too crazy. No, it's right? comic book art. But it's. With a little bit of Todd influenced eyes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, he, he got me with the moon in the background. <laughs> full moon. That does it. That's a full moon. Yeah. All right, and then we go to a little. We got one Bishop. Side. 95. Adam Kubert. Adam Kubert Bishop here. Just, I, I, and I think, you know, this is when they started, I think, kind of playing around with how they were going to put these together from insert sets. Yeah, because um, this was all computer uh, colored. I think it's computer colored. Yeah. And then you got some really interesting inserts from it. Uh, so it, it worked. We love 95. It's actually nice to see the original pencils from that and the, the original inks and all that. Where because... are all the Bishop collectors, by the way? He is too cool of a character. I don't know. Ooh, this is really cool. cool Roberto Flores with the Daredevil from 2000. and it's tops. Clearly influenced by uh, Quesada's Daredevil no doubt. design with the yeah so uh, just to be clear he did this in 2000 but it's on the 2001, 2001. top very cool 
Oh, another Qbert black cat. Kitty. Oh, shadow uh, cat. Or Oops. cat. Sorry. We all said, we all, we won't leave it to say, you, cat woman. <laughs> That's where we get fired. Uh, but this is shadow cat. She's one of the cats, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was from the painting. <laughs> that was, that was. <laughs> that was. Oh, I got to introduce the next one. Okay, give me just a second. Because uh, this is just too beautiful. I mean, this. Uh, yeah, this is just. It's such a great card. It's by the way, it's from uh, the Chrome set. So let me see. Here. Oh, I mean, there you go. Metal. Marvel Minus. Yeah, yeah, so that was digitally colored, uh, because it. They but okay, we're gonna see a. We gotta see it. Oh, it's over here. Okay, uh, but yeah, this is this is from ninety five metal. I love ninety five metal. Uh, the next we up, here? we have John Wayshack doing Deathlock from twenty twenty two Midnight Suns, which actually came out in. 2023 <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how we do it and uh Wayshack is one of the best illustrators period end of story uh and a good friend and he just a, a mean death lock i mean that is mean he killed it yeah death lock is a is a, is a fun character mm -hmm. it really is i think he i think he's right for a movie yeah okay so cool. here we have hera yep now this is not Marvel, it's Star Wars Galaxy, it's just an example of it over here because the artist spoke at the uh, at one of our interviews yesterday. And then here we have Lady Death Strike. And this is from Megan Hetrick. Hetrick, yeah. Hetrick. And this is from Fleur Ultra X Men 2018. Let me get that to focus for you guys. It's great. There you go. That's a great, great painting. Yeah, look at that. Super cool. Mm. Mm. There we go. This is from an underrated set. It's, it's also Fleur Ultra X-Men, but it's mm. 1996. And this is Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. Yeah, with the severed hand, the little stump, and... He gets his lady, though. Yeah? He loses the hand, but he gets Jean. <laughs> he says it's worth it. And we have Carnage wow. here. Okay. And this is from 1995, uh, Fleur Ultra Spider-Man. And that looks so much different than the card. And I'll throw one up. And this is Lee McLeod. This is a very impressive painting. And it's because of the way the card, you know, it, it, the art was transitioned on the card. But it's a really nice painting. Very, very nice. And these I'm not familiar with. I'm not either. This is from, oh, this is the mechanized. Okay, yeah, this is the mechanized card from Anime. Anime is the 2022. Most people know it as the Peach Momoka set, mm. right? And, uh, That's Optimus, Optimus Captain America. That is exactly what that is. I mean, I thought it was Optimus Prime <laughs> when I first looked right. at it. Optimus Freedom. <laughs> Optimus Freedom. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, look at what we saved for last. We did, and why is it on the floor? I mean, it's, it's just, it deserves a different place. That's, right? that's beautiful. Absolutely it, beautiful. It is beautiful. And this is from David with an E. Uh, to. How do you say that? Tosello. Tosello. Sorry, first time I ever said the name out loud. Uh, but it's an incredible card. We have really enjoyed it. It's also from Midnight Suns, 2023 Midnight Suns. But look at that. Wow. Valley Slippers. It's, uh, it's just got a great vibe. Snow, I mean, Snow, New York. Mm -hmm. She's just hanging out. I would like to own this. Yeah, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. It's just It captures her attitude so well. Mm -hmm. And her elegance. But you don't want to fight her, I promise. No. All right, that is the Marvel card archive. With, uh, with our host, <laughs> Spidey Hits. Spidey, all right, thank you. I appreciate it. Don't that. forget to say, like, subscribe to Spidey Hits. Today, today to Spidey. West Coast Avengers. Marvel first. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. It was a lot of fun doing that with Justin. We did that Sunday morning and it was just kind of off the cuff. I uh, didn't know some of the artwork. Or I didn't know some of the artists and he filled in the gaps and we just had a good time talking about it. So uh, really excited for next year's OAX. So uh, big, big shout out to Bill Cox and Kazra uh, for putting that on. And I'm sure that I will be bringing you some more fun content from there next year. Hey, comment down below. Tell me what your favorite piece was. I think mine was the Greg Hildebrandt uh, Wolverine or the Electro by Joe Jusco. 
But yeah, let me know what your favorite was. And don't forget, every couple months, I'm going to be doing live card sales here with my buddy Manu, the 9.9 newsstand, because, you know, it's comic related, so why not? I'll see you next week on the West Coast Avengers. I like you. <laughs>